I'm going to go over some interesting things that the Lord has brought to my attention about today's date and tomorrow. And before we get started, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say is not financial advice. So we have the Bitcoin halving happening tomorrow, April 20th, and people are expecting this Bitcoin halving to cause a positive effect on cryptocurrencies that includes Shiba Inu. So this is pretty big news in the world of cryptocurrency and news that I just became aware of only three days ago. And when I found out this information, I thought it was very interesting because I've already had the 20th marked on my calendar. And one of the notes that I had for this date, like already over a month ago, I had it marked on my calendar as this date was said to be one of the best days of the year or the best day of the year. So today's April 19th and tomorrow's the 20th and we have some planetary alignments and celestial alignments that are taking place that are very interesting and that the Lord brought to my attention to make note of. So when I found out about this Bitcoin having taking place on where I had marked the calendar as the best day of the year and with these um, planetary alignments, I found this very interesting and I realized that the energetic alignment in the heavens for the 19th and the 20th do link to prosperity. In Job 38, the Lord does tell us that the constellations and the celestial bodies have an energetic influence on earth and humanity and earthly affairs. So in Genesis 1, the Lord says that he placed the celestial bodies in the heavens to govern times, days, and seasons, and to illuminate the earth by his governing luminaries. The Lord says in Genesis 1 that he placed the celestial bodies in the heavens to govern the day and the night, to govern the earth. And the word govern means to conduct the policy, actions, and affairs of a state, organization, people, or kingdom. So according to scripture, the heavenly bodies govern or implement the affairs of God's kingdom in the earth, and they have a direct influence on humanity and world affairs. Job 38 says, can thou restrain the sweet influences of the Pleiades? The word influence means the capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. Job 38 goes on to say, can you loose the belt of Orion? Can you bring forth the Maseroth, which is the constellations, in their time and seasons? Can you also guide Arcturus with his sons? Do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set up God's dominion over the earth? So if we take a look at scripture without a man-made religious bias and frame of mind, then we can see pretty plainly written in scripture that the laws of heaven are written by God in the heavenly bodies and his dominion and government over the earth has been established in the heavens, in the celestial bodies. Job 38 says, do you know the laws of the heavens? Can you set up God's dominion over the earth? And the answer is no, we can't do such things, but God can and has done these things. And he gives wisdom and revelation of his heavenly orders, laws, dominions, and influences to the wise, to the humble, and those with a teachable spirit. That being said, on April 19th, which is today's date, Mars sextiles Jupiter and Uranus. And the energy around Jupiter uh, points to prosperity, wisdom, faith, expansion, and the energy of Uranus points to breakthrough, surprises, forward thinking, and rebellion or liberation. And rebellion doesn't always have to be in a negative aspect. Rebellion can actually be a positive thing when used to rebel against injustice. And so we can look at Jesus. He was definitely a rebel of his day. He did, he was not liked by kings. He was not liked by the Pharisees, the religious community. He was definitely a rebel of his day, but he was a rebel for righteousness, for the will of the father and for the kingdom of heaven. So he was a rebel in a positive sense. And his whole goal was to bring liberation to humanity and salvation to the world. So Jupiter and Uranus's energy um, taking place today, April 19th, is pointing us towards 
prosperity, wisdom, faith, expansion, and breakthrough, surprises, forward thinking, and liberation. These are all really great things. And this is the energy just ramping up for what we have going on tomorrow on April 20th. April 20th is the day that the Bitcoin halving is supposed to take place. And in the early morning on April 20th, we have five planets in alignment, which will be Venus, Mercury, Neptune, Mars, and Saturn that will align in the sky. And this day, Jupiter Uranus conjuncts in Taurus as well. And this conjunction is so rare that it hasn't happened in 84 years since 1941. So when I found this out, I went to go see what took place in 1941, and I realized this was the year that the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor took place, and the United States declared war on Japan, and Germany and Italy declared war on the U.S. a few days later, and the nation became fully engaged in the Second World War. So U.S. involvement in the Second World War was quickly followed by a massive mobilization effort. I found this even more interesting because the Lord had me watching a documentary on Franklin D. Roosevelt. I think it was Monday that I watched this documentary. And the specific episode I was watching was on the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So I feel like the Lord is definitely like bringing my attention to this event uh, because this is, you know, I know it's no coincidence that the bombing of Pearl Harbor has been brought up to me twice this week through the documentary and now again through this conjunction taking place on the 20th. The energy tied to this conjunction signals an unexpected opportunity that could bring personal breakthrough. It's an aspect of personal freedom and also of a time of revolution. Revolution is a forcible overthrow of a government or, or social order in favor of a new system. So in this conjunction, we can see an aspect that signals the rise of a new system. Could this confirm the effect of the Bitcoin having causing a positive surge in cryptocurrencies as we progress in the moving away from fiat money and into the new system of digital currency? Could this be confirming to us that a mass awakening and awareness is taking place that will cause an overthrow of certain laws and systems? These are the things that are interesting to consider. So the last time there was a similar Jupiter and Uranus conjunction, like the one we're having tomorrow, that took place in 2011, but it took place in Aries. So when I think back to 2011, this was a huge pivotal year for me. A series of events took place and caused a huge spiritual awakening to take place in my life. And this is when I began really awakening to and pursuing the will of God for my life. In 2010, I had finally came out of a toxic relationship, made a verbal covenant with God that I was going to change my life, not even knowing what I was actually doing at the time or the power of my words. I had very little knowledge of the Bible, even though I had been talking to the Father since I was four years old. So by 2011, I came to the awakening of the Illuminati, which completely shifted my thinking and the way I saw the world. I met it was in 2011 when I met my husband. Just a few months later, I began reading the Bible for hours every day and my life began to drastically and rapidly change for the better. So this similar energy is releasing over humanity on April 20th. And I am expecting for another level of awakening and change for those who are open to receive uh, this energy that the Lord is releasing. And so if you think back to 2011, you might... Um, Remember that time in your life, it may have been pivotal for you if you started awakening to your purpose, um, to God's will for your life. Um, but I know thinking back to 2011 for me, 2011 is a year I will never forget. It was such a huge pivotal year. It's probably the most significant year in all my life um, and a year I can never forget. So all this being said, I am excited to see what's coming. There are definitely signs in the heavens taking place and energy that God is releasing from the heavens to bring people who are open to his spirit and to his will to bring them up higher, to bring them greater levels of awakening, greater levels of influence, of finances, of breakthrough. And so I'm really excited to see what is about to occur. And so... I hope this resonates somehow and maybe confirm some things for you. If nothing else, I hope it encourages you to keep going, to keep pressing, to keep planning, to keep preparing, to continue to gain more financial understanding through the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and through educating ourselves on these new systems that are going to be appearing 
in the soon coming future more and more. Be blessed.